Hi and welcome back to Amazing Gaming. I'm Amazing and I'm back in Horsey for another update. And first, before I go any further, I just want to say how sorry I am I didn't have a video for last week. There were a few issues with my video and I just, I couldn't get it out. But I'm back and I will try to fill you in as much as you, I can. And hopefully you do enjoy this. So if you do, please throw a like, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell. And let's talk about this current update, which I believe is update four, week four of the Halloween event, which is crazy. We've had four incredible weeks of events. So cool. And let's get into the details. So for this update, we've got a new limited. We're going to talk about that in a minute. But we've got new creature wing variant, the ghoul steed new traits, which includes bat ears, ghost paint and poisoned pattern. New event items, Maple Leaf, Potion Palette, Coffin Air Clip, Possessed Witch, Eye Bat, Crow Crown, and Vampire Trail. Also, new Halloween quests for exclusive rewards and new limited ghoul steed. Pin quests easily to follow along, reduce complexity of missions by separating tracks from 1 to 3. And I didn't talk about missions last week because I didn't have a video for you, but basically they've been broken into tears almost and they're a lot easier to do so we're going to take a look at that right now before we go any further so we're closing out of this and, and hello hello i did miss you guys i really really did okay so let's just quickly look at my journal and show you that this mission tab is completely changed right here so you can replay any of these quests and we'll show you what the current reward is for the replayable quest that you're doing so we've got these here, Enchanted Mounts, Unique Horses, and Common Steeds. So your Horses, Ponies, Equus, and Bice Horses are in your Common Steed variant. Your Caprines, Unicorns, Gargoyles, and Kelpies are in your Unique Horse variants. And Peritons and Faze are in your Enchanted Mounts variants. And added to this will probably be the Flora and the Plush uh, to this uh, in the future update as well. So for the map, the map is still fairly basic, showing all of the different locations where horses are basically spawn or herding horses. They're all one type of um, icon. They're not really broken up into different icons yet, but they're pretty easy to follow. You just press M on the computer if you're playing on a PC or just click to bring up the map. Now let's look at the event. So I had to complete 20 event mini games. Let's let me take you back a little bit further. So we have the Ghoulsteed license, which we finished with. Then for the next three sets of quests, the first one was for the Spooky Wing Potion. You had to tame five Ghoulsteeds in the wild, complete 10 event mini games, purchase one item from the event Gacha Shop, which is a little machine, and then you would get a Spooky Wing Potion. Now these are incredibly valuable and very very cool to have. So that is an amazing reward to have actually. Then we've got the next quest which is for the Haunted Mutation Potion. This gives uh, the Haunted Mutation of either Ghost or Ghoul on your horse. Now the way it works is that if you have a horse with Ghost and a horse with Ghoul Mutation and you breed them together and then the two traits of Ghoul and Ghost end up on the same horse, your horse will be invisible. That's how that works. It's really really cool. So uh, complete 10 mini games by five school steeds from the spooky stables and complete the corn maze mini game three times. Now last week, and this is one of the problems with my video, I went to do the corn maze and I spawned on top of the corn maze box and I couldn't complete it and I got stuck. And what happened was I, every time I left the mini game area, it would teleport me back to the door but not inside the, the maze. So it didn't matter what else I did in the game, I would always end up teleported back to the start of the maze and I couldn't complete it. And it, it was just stuck in this like, unable to complete and unable to work the timer because it spawned me on top of the actual maze box and the timer was, wasn't working. And every time I tried to leave the area or reset it would bring me back to the start of the maze but it wouldn't let me go in so that's what happened to my game last week and i couldn't play it and there was no point in showing you just a broken game 
because they obviously did eventually patch it but by that time I had already collected all my rewards and talked about the entire update and I had to throw the video away so that's what happened to me last week um it was an awful awful bug and I wouldn't wish it on anyone anyway we completed this three times now I'll give you a little tip with this find a couple of friends like we did um, they're gonna run around the maze you're gonna run around the maze together if you're in the same server you'll all have the same type of maze uh, one of you or all three of you can be spotters and you're looking for a lighter patch or a glow on the ground that looks slightly yellow a larger radius like a glow on the ground and that is where your little candy corn exit is inside the maze so if you can locate that first then you can um, work together to look for it and find it really quickly and always complete the maze 100%. So there's a little tip for that. Thank you to Lucy for helping us figure that one out. So that is pretty awesome. And uh, yeah, we tamed five ghouls. We bought five ghoul steeds from the Spooky Stables. Always look for the ones that are around under 300 souls and then that is completed and complete the mini game 10 times which I've already said. You'll get this potion and now this one right here. This is going to be my ghoul steed right here. I'm excited to get it. It has the ghost trait on the hair which is incredible. Um, so I just need one more mini game. I've defeated three bosses and tamed 10 ghoul steeds. So one more mini game is all I have to do. So I'm just going to... I'm, I'm going to be one of the first 100 people to get this, so this is pretty awesome. I'm just going to quickly design an apple right now. So let's just uh, get a few things. Let's go for like a completely pink looking one. There we go. Done. Completed. Now, let's see. We're going to claim this. Claim this. Oh my gosh. Wow, look at it. Oh, it's a small. Look at the colors, ink and oil, nectarine, evergreen, hemlock, ethereon for the sock, burn for the pattern, mango for the paint, and dream for the keratin. It has a weeping face, poisoned, which poison we were going to show you anyway because that's one of the new traits, intricate glyphs, vampire cape, flaming belly, dragon's breath, then ribcage spikes, stitches, limb spikes. <laughs> it has the limb spikes. Uh, the face bone spikes, spectral hair, weeping tail, high demon horns, and sunset colored eyes. It is really cool. So uh, maybe come up with a name for it and I will rename the horse to the best suggestion in the comments. That would be really cool. So I now have that. And it looks like I just got it in under the like 100. Obviously if I wasn't talking so much I would have got it within the 100. But that's okay. There's plenty to go. You guys can get it. I know you can do it. It's going to be fine. You'll be great. Uh, it does help having a bunch of master lassos to so make sure you're doing your competitions and you'll be getting plenty of those as rewards. Okay, so with that said and done, let's get out this new steed of ours. Oh my gosh. Where is it? Where? Oh, sort by recent. Unity! That's what it's currently called. It has ghoul on it, so the hair glows. Let me equip it. Let's take a look. Wow. Hello, little one. Oh my gosh, welcome to the family. Look at the colors. What a great palette. That's an incredible palette. And as you can see, it's got a new pattern on it as well, or a paint. If I can get it to stretch its wings. There it goes. Look at that. That looks so cool. Hello. Oh my gosh. So what should we rename Unity to? Leave your suggestions in the comments. I'd like to hear what you think. All right. Now I'm going to look at a couple of other things that I've found and to put on my horse. So here we've got over here, we've put the little, the bat accessory on the head here. That is super adorable. I love it. Looks super cute. I, I actually just want so many of these. They look so cute. And on this one right here, we have the bat ears. Look at those ears. They're so fluffy. I love them. Fluffy bat ears. So that's one of the new traits right there. Oh my gosh. I love it. And then over here, this little snoozer, if I get up here, has the new creature wing. So let's see if they extend the wing. 
because I don't have any potion on it yet. There we go. New creature wing. That looks awesome as well. So I got that one from the wild. Look at it jiggle right there. Oh, thanks for showing off the wings, buddy. That's awesome. Alright, so there are new accessories I don't have yet. I'm going to collect my wish fountain to see if I can get them. No, I got some I got a silly pumpkin though, so that's alright. And some souls. Very good. Let's have a look in the gacha real quick. Let's see what's here. So the bat wing headband is what I got out of there. I love it so much. Super cool. Alright, now that we've covered the basics for this update, let's start looking at replayable missions. Uh, because there's going to be lore. And I'm also going to just touch on the Discord really quickly. Because in the Discord, we they talk about upcoming updates and things that are going to be happening in the Horse Live feed. So let's go into it a little bit more detailed. Uh, well, we can also pin missions as well. So if you go to the journal and you say choose the Kelpie mission, replay it, and then you can pin the quest right there. There we go, pinned. So it should come up. I wonder if it automatically pins. There it is, right there on the side, Kelpie quest. Five, full five Kelpies, tame ten Kelpies, level up Kelpie skills five times. And that becomes a replayable and it's pinned right there. It's not really obtrusive or annoying or in the view anywhere. So it's, yeah, easy enough to do your pinned quest like that. Pretty cool. Now, there are some things as well added. This week, the team finished half the labor to prepare for the story quest. This is incredibly exciting and means the storyline is coming up very, very quickly. Now, they did bring on a bunch of people to work on the lore for the game. Um, they hired people so that they can bring this entire world to life and you can discover the backstories, origin stories of not only the horses, the NPCs, but how the world became to be the way it is and how it is in its current state. And you'll notice that things like statues change and the... Um, information on things changes regularly in the game so it's constantly evolving also there is a new cave let's just jump on this horse and show you this new cool cave that's opened up we're gonna go straight over between these two bluffs these pine bluffs and then over here <gasps> the cave has got more things in it look at it it's a shrine Oh my gosh, there's there's a book back here. A fractured, it's a fractured tablet. Look at it. The fracturing event right here. There are candles. Oh my gosh. So the lore is coming to life in this game. It's absolutely insane. Yes, you can watch over this. Wow. Look at that. And then I've heard mentions of an eruption as well and not just um, a fracturing event. And then we've got this here. We've got obviously the mountains and then we've got some sort of portal. We've got some horses that have come through on this side. This is probably the world of Ethereum with offerings. So you've got your three different horses here and you've got some people and maybe are these spirit horses? Is this a... Is this showing like the spirit horses? I'm not entirely sure. But this is amazing. Look at it. This cave. You can check it out for yourself. And uh, yeah, this just lore is, is just happening all around us. Okay, so that's going to come up very, very fast. And we're super, super excited about it. I can't wait. I'm really excited for the new uh, plush horses. They look really super cute. Um, I believe that will be this week. I'm hoping. I really am. And uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to doing the retracing of the steps quest lines, which is going to be super amazing. Oh my gosh. Anyway, if you did enjoy this video, please throw a like on it. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell. And don't forget to give me your suggestions for a name for my new limited horse. I hope you all managed to get it. I think you will. I think you'll be able to get it pretty easily. 
and uh, we will catch you again next time for amazing gaming goodbye